everyone. Welcome to the Team Effort Lifestyle Call. Glad to have you guys with us. Uh, always exciting to get Monday kicked off real, real good. And uh, thanks for uh, opening up the call. Thanks. We have, uh, you know, of course, our Monday morning coaching session with uh, Nikisha Bond out of uh, Marietta, California. And I uh, want you guys to just, uh, you know, get yourselves ready, get a position so you can write, take some notes. You always got some powerful, powerful things to leave us. Uh, my, my partner and co-host and co-partner in crime is uh, uh, away with her family on vacation for a few days, so she'll be back in uh, the middle of the week. So we're glad to have her getting some rest and getting some relaxation. I don't know how much you're going to do with uh, all those kids running around, but uh, uh, we're looking forward to having her get away for a while. So Pastor D will be back with us in uh, the middle of the week. And uh, we got some five fabulous, fabulous lineup for you this week. A number of people coming in, going to share their stories, uh, some new exciting people as well. Just wanted to <clears throat> take off a couple of announcements real quick before we got Nikisha on the bar, uh, Nikisha Bond on the call. Uh, <clears throat> don't forget the back office, go into your back office and order your, um, your uh, 10 regional, East Coast regional tickets. They're in your back office. Remember, <clears throat> everyone has to pay to come to the 10 regional, any corporate event. Uh, I know some people were confused because they said they thought guests were free, uh, but this is not a Super Saturday. It's not a TTP. This is uh, this is really a corporate event uh, where uh, a lot of things are going on. A lot of in- in- intense training are, are taking place, and uh, even you guests, uh, you must have tickets for your guests. So if you have somebody that's, that you want to bring and that you've <clears throat> been trying to get to one of these meetings, this is one of the meetings that you definitely want to get into because. Uh, Mel and Amy, as they talk about this company like nobody else, they do such a fabulous job, everybody's ready to sign up again. So you really want to get uh, your guests into this meeting. It's going to be phenomenal. So get your tickets for you and your guests. Uh, Don't come to a meeting like this by yourself. Always bring somebody because uh, we heard over the last week, number, number of people saying when you go to big events, you can expect big things to happen. We're expecting some big things to happen, some big announcements to take place, and we're also expecting you to walk away there with some new team members to help you grow and build your business. So definitely do that. Go back and back off and buy your tickets. Also, <clears throat> want to get you uh, 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 up to speed and familiar with uh, the calls that's going on. Many of you know the calls that's going on. Monday through Friday, you have the team effort livestock call with Pastor Denise and myself. Uh, here this, uh, at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, for our new people who are listening in, we want to let you know also we have a Tuesday and Thursday night uh, call. We have an eight, uh, eight, eight, 8 o'clock Eastern Time call with Mr. T. He has a show me the money call on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, that's powerful. You definitely want to t- tune, tune into that and get your people tied into that. Immediately following Mr. T at 9 o'clock, uh, at 9 o'clock Eastern Time is uh, Pat and Ed Lowe's call uh, out of North Carolina. You definitely want to get your people on that because, again, the more calls that you have people tied into, the more they're going to be able to learn and the quicker they'll learn. Again, you have to remember that you have a learning curve before you enter into your earning curve. Now, the longer, longer it takes you to get through your learning curve, the longer it's going to take for you to begin earning money. So the quicker you can get through your learning curve, that means the quicker you're going to get through get to your earning curve. So if you get plugged into these calls and uh, and, and, and let the people on these calls help you uh, learn the things that you need to learn to help build your business, you're going to start earning money right away. Uh, let me announce a new call as well. Uh, we have uh, a Monday night call, 9 o'clock Eastern time, Monday night call. It is an opportunity call. It is, you know, it is going to be hot and sizzling, and it's going to be an amazing call as well. So Monday night, starting tonight, mark your calendars. Starting tonight, Monday at 9 uh, p.m. Eastern time, uh, we have a call, uh, opportunity call with, uh, 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 I was getting ready to call him one star, but he's not, he's not quite yet a one star, but he is an LCQ qualifier, LCQ qualifier, very active. Barry Aqua is going to come on, and he's going to really, really talk about the opportunity for this business. Why uh, you need to look at this company as an opportunity to change your life and change your wealth. And uh, that's what this call is going to be focused on. Uh, Barry has made millions of dollars in the industry. He is a top leader, well-known in the industry. And he's in this business uh, here called 10 with us to do 
exactly what he's been doing for co for companies over years and years and years. He's been in the company decades and decades and decades. Uh, and so he really knows the principles about success and how to be how to build a business in this company. You really want to get on a little call with with Barry. Barry's really really excited about uh, doing these calls, and so he's going to be doing them on Monday night. Uh, 9 o'clock Eastern time, same call-in number, same access code. So those are some of the calls that we wanted to highlight. Of course, you can look at the calendar, and uh, they have some of the Spanish calls as well. Uh, Memo does the call at 12, uh, 12, 10, uh, Monday through Friday as well. So you want to actually actually take a look at the calendar and see all the calls that's coming down the pipe. Look at your awesome calendars for your local TTPs, 10 tasting parties. You want to get your people into those 10 tasting parties. The people that bring people to 10 tasting parties are the people that are building the largest businesses. So you don't want to just be a spectator. You want to be a participator. So we want to get you to get your people into those CTPs. All right, so those are some of the highlights I wanted to highlight for you. Uh, without further ado, we're going to go all the way to the West Coast uh, to Coach Nikisha Bond. Nikisha, are you with us? I'm here, Pastor Dale. Can you hear me okay? We can see you fabulous, fabulous. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'll tell you. How you listen, I'll tell you, we're getting more and more calls coming on the line, and that's just more and more opportunities for people to hear this great company and this great conversation that we have, would you say? Absolutely. And you know what? I think it's always good that we take time out because, you know, we're on these calls all the time, and we're so used to mingling with the leaders that sometimes you forget we're having so many new people come in that it's always good to do some housekeeping. You should remind that to your team to make sure that you're just confirming with them that they know all of the different times, that they know all of the different steps of success. So I wanted to do an oldie but getting training, um, Pastor Dale, if you're okay with that, because I know we have a lot of new people on the line. We want to make sure that they get into the team effort network culture. Is that okay with you? All right. Pastor Dale's probably well, muted I, out already. That's okay because, you know, when we talk about the team effort life cycle, you got to remember one of the reasons uh, and the main reason that Mel uh, uh, changed the name of the call to the team effort life cycle call and access to participate in, 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 in doing these calls was he wanted to talk about the culture and talk about the culture of Team Effort Network. And so, absolutely, you're right on point. All right. So, let's get it started. So, you know, one of the things that I notice is that we get so excited when we come into this business because it's an amazing opportunity. You know, finally, 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 you have a product that actually works that's delivering real results to people. And you have a compensation plan that not only is paying out currently, but has paid out for the last 11, almost 12 years. And so people come in and they're ready and they're excited and they're ready to go. But you know what? Sometimes it's like, well, now what do I do? And so, you know, we did the training last week. We did it a couple times to just say it's about you. It's about your, you, you and you working on yourself and you getting better. So this call, and every time I do it on Monday, I always think about the person who might not be at their goal. Or, you know what, every time we're moving from goal to goal, so it doesn't matter if you've reached your first goal, you probably have another goal. And so hopefully this will help somebody to get themselves to the next goal. And so I'm going to talk about this as you guys are already leaders, because I always figure anybody who can get up at 8 o'clock in the morning or 11 o'clock in the morning and get on the call every single day is considered a leader in my book, whether or not you have anybody signed up on you. But, you know, one thing we have to do is we have to make sure that new people who are coming in, who are going to be coming to the call later on this week, coming to the TTPs, that we give them the tools to be successful. So for, one of the first things that I do is I send my team a welcome package. And I posted the, both of those in the Facebook page under Team um, 10 Prosperity Team or Tenacious Generation. I'll probably repost them again just so you guys can see them. And I think it's just a nice, good way of welcoming somebody to the team and giving them some of the basics, which is giving those team members their 10 ID number, their password, especially if you're filling out paper applications and you've given them the password once you put them into the computer. Give them that information so that they know how to access um, their back office. Also give them the back office address, which is winwith10.com slash login. Um, or you can have them go to teameffortnetwork.biz slash their new ID number, and there's also a click that you can log into your back office there. You know, make sure you spend some time showing them their back office, showing them how commissions are paid out, where they can get that information, how to update their profile, because it's important that they do that so that they can get all the um, company emails, show them where they can go and get their auto ship orders in the back office, if they need to modify their auto ship orders, show them 
Um, what is the other one I want to talk about? Uh, just any new events, and they have all sorts of other kind of tools that you can have in your back office. So you want to take some time when you're doing your mastermind meeting to just walk people through that step. And so um, the welcome letter is just kind of a welcoming people to the team, letting them know how they can reach me, uh, what's your best way of method of contact. Are you a texting person? Are you a calling person? Do they have Skype? Get their Skype ID. Because you want to make sure that all the information that you're getting from the leaders, all the information that you're getting on the calls, there might be someone on your team who doesn't get that. So if you find something that's really, really important, you know, like today, you just heard all the different call schedules, it might be a good time to text your team or email your team and just let them know these are all the different calls that are coming up, you know, check in with everyone, did they get their tickets to the September event? So that's the first thing you do with the welcome letter. Then you go over the 10 steps of success. And so this is done in your mastermind meeting, which is just a fancy way of saying meeting with your new team members. A lot of times we can sign people up at a TTT and never see them again. They don't know how to contact. I've had actually people contact me and say, hey, I don't even really know who my upline is. I'm just really excited and I'm ready to go. And I saw your your website, so I was hoping you could help me. I'm like, oh, okay, sure, I'll be able to help you. And, you know, that's the one thing about this culture that I really, really love is that everybody is so willing to help. You know, some of the distributor calls and they have a question. I've had a distributor call and ask me um, to cancel their auto ship order for them. So I, I get all sorts of really crazy calls. But I think that's just because we're not taking the time to show people some of the tools that are actually there so that they can go ahead and start working their ver- business and, like Pastor Dale said, get out of the learning curve and get into the earning curve. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that they sign up for an auto ship order. One of the great things about this company is that you can sign up for an auto ship. You can sign up for an auto ship order when you first order, or you can not sign up for an auto ship order when you first order. But we want people to get on the auto ship order. And this is how I always explain it to people, is that when you are deciding between the 10 sprays and the 4 sprays, that usually depends on what type of a package. So if they're trying to figure out what type of a package they need to get, you got to ask them what their goals are. You know, if they're just trying to come into the business and get sprays at a discount, maybe you just sell them the basic membership so they can get on a basic auto ship order and not be burdened with trying to run a business that they're not going to run. You know, the Diamond Pack is really good for those people who see the vision that Mel and Amy have set forth and are really going to run for it. But you want to make sure that everybody who gets signed up gets on some sort of an auto package. If you sell one spray to someone and then they come back and they want to buy more, you know, you should be upgrading them and say, hey, if you buy pay the $49 membership fee, you can go ahead and get your sprays for you know, 50 to 100% discount on what I'm selling for you. People are very, very open to that. Next thing you want to do is you want to sit down and you want to make your goals with people. You know, there's going to be times and there's times for everyone where they're not going to want to do the things that they have to do to reach the goals that they want. But you know what? As a leader, if you know where somebody wants to get to, when they call you with those hard times or they call you with a this is not working or this, that, and the other, you can then go back to them and say, hey, didn't you join this business so that you could have financial freedom? Didn't you join this business so that you could, you know, fund vacations for you and your family? Didn't you start this business? And you can bring that back to them just so they can be reminded because we all have to be reminded of our goals. We talked about this last week. We all have to visualize our goals and we have to know why we got into this business. And as a leader, it's so important for us to understand why someone gets into this business. You know, is someone getting into this business so that they can make a large income or are they just making it, getting in this business so they can make an extra $500 a month? You know, knowing the difference between the two is going to help you as a leader know how you need to communicate with that person. Because not everybody's going to need a check-in every single day or a call or a three-way. You know, some people are only going to do a little bit. And you have to be okay with people who are just going to be a little bit. But if you don't know where their goals are, you as a leader won't be able to help them. And you can't put everybody in the same bucket. I learned that, you know, the hard way. Not everyone's going to be like me. And I have to accept people for what they're going to be willing to do and what goals they have set for themselves. And I can't put my goals on them. So that was just free advice from the Keisha Barnes. I learned that the hard way. Um, You know, step three is you want to have, after you've had your meeting with them, you know, you want to help them to contact, invite, follow up, and involve. And this is like 24 hours after they start joining. Here's the thing. And we talked about this last week, which is why I thought this was a good um, training to go back to because it's that procrastination. It's that waiting. So here's an example. You go to your Thursday TTP, they signed up, they get in front, everyone claps, we're all excited, they're rammed up, they're ready to go, they do a quick little training afterwards, the next day comes, they go out there, and now they're like, okay, what do I do, um, who, who do I call? Okay, we'll call people, and then if they're interested, do a three-way call. 
okay, so I call people and I get some people who are interested. I get some people who say no, or maybe I say, oh, okay, I'm not going to call them tomorrow. I'm going to call them on Monday because, you know, tomorrow's Friday and nobody really does anything on a Friday. As time goes on, the less action that they take, the less action they will take, statistically speaking. So it's so important that 24 hours after they're joining, you get them on the phone call. It might be good for you to call them that same day or say, hey, I'm going to call you at 4. We're going to do three-way calls together. You're just going to call people, put me on three-way, and if you need me, then I'll chime in and I'll help you with that three-way call. You know, whatever it is you have to do to help make sure that they are contacting people immediately and telling them about this business and that they're inviting them out to a TTP. Um, Along with that welcome package that I had, and I told you that's on Facebook, there's also a quick little tutorial called Become a 10 Executive in 14 Days, and it just talks about all the things that they should be doing and you should be helping them with as a leader on day one, two, three, all the way to 14 so that they can become an executive in 14 days. Some people are doing it in a couple days. Some people are doing it in a couple months. Whatever it is, you want to just make sure that you are following some of these tools to help people to accelerate their business if they're ready to. And so, um, you know, the contact, invite, follow-up, and involve is really, really important. Involve people into the company. Let them know that you can hear them doing a shout-out on the call. You know, do a three-way call so that you can get them onto the call. Take them out to the event with you. You know, really nurture the new people who are coming in so that they know that this isn't like every other network marketing company that they've ever joined where people come and they take their money and then they leave them out there to starve or they make them go to a million different meetings every single day and spend tons and tons of money on all these other products. It's not like that. It's family here. And the reason that we're doing this is because we want people to succeed. Because if they don't succeed, it doesn't grow anybody's business. And so there is a lot of incentives for everybody who comes into the business to be very, very, very successful. So, you know, you always want to remind people that they're not alone and that they're in business by themselves, for themselves, but never by themselves. And so part of this helping people to contact, invite, follow up, and involve them into this process is what's helping to reaffirm that, and that's part of what we really, really believe. Um, Pastor Denise was saying, uh, sorry, Pastor Dale was saying it before, uh, step four, attend your local 10 tasting parties. You know, network marketing is about building relationships. And, you know, you want to share the opportunity with as many people as you can. Now, if you don't have a TTP in your area, you know, I always say, welcome to the Leadership Club. Go ahead and start your own TTPs. But if you do have one in the area, take advantage of the leaders who are out there every single day. I mean, they don't get paid for putting on these TTP parties. <laughs> you know, Pastor Davies and Pastor Dale don't get paid for doing this call. But because they decided to do it was to have a servant heart, you know, take advantage of inviting your people to the ones that already exist. And if there's none in your area, go ahead and create one. And if you don't know how to do that, go ahead and reach out to the leaders. They're very, very easy, though. There's lots of different PowerPoints. I believe some of those are posted on uh, Facebook. And basically, when people join, you're just going to um, come to the TTP. You're just going to welcome them in. You know, you're going to go ahead and go through the PowerPoint. And all that does is it goes through the products. It goes through the company background. It goes through the um, opportunity. And a lot of the sli- slides are self-guided. So as you click, you know, different things will drop in and fall in by themselves. And then you're just going to ask people any questions that they have, let them taste some of the products. You know, it's very informal. Um, you can go on Facebook, too. There's a lot of different videos, as you see, of Super Saturday events or TTPs that have been tasted. And, and you'll see the same thing that goes on. They're just using the presentation. Because the key is, is that they're simple, they're easy, and they're duplicatable. You know, there's not all of these lines that you have to remember. You know, you don't have to be an expert. And the great thing is, is that this is where you can get your sponsor involved. Or as a leader, this is where you can go out to your new um, distributor's house, and you can actually do the um, the presentation for them. Now, I know sometimes we have a habit here of, you know, the same leaders doing the same presentations all the time, but that's not going to be the case all the time. And really what we should be doing as leaders is getting all those new people involved in the presentation. I know it's scary for a lot of people to get up front, but it really does help your lines to duplicate so that you as a leader, it doesn't become a job for you to have to do. It's actually breeding other leaders who then will breed other leaders who will breed other leaders. And then as this goes global as it already is, now you don't have to work as much because now you have leaders that are 100 and 200 and 1,000 generations below you who are holding their own TTP party. So that's really the goal. We're still getting there because we're so new, but that's definitely the goal. Um, so number five was to listen to your weekly um, team and corporate calls. And I was saying that, you know, these calls are really... All callers are unmuted. All callers are muted. 
these calls are really designed to um, give you that motivation every day. Can you hear me okay, Pastor Bill? I'm hearing a little bit of feedback. Uh, yes, I do. Hold on. Okay, is that better? Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's better. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. We're good. Okay. So I was saying that listening to your weekly team calls, these calls that are happening Monday through Friday, Tuesdays and Thursdays and um, on Monday, are really designed to give you that motivation. You know, a lot of people say, you know, I, I know what I'm supposed to do, I know what I'm supposed to do, but I just can't, ah, man, I don't know why I'm not doing what it is that I'm supposed to do. And a lot of that has to do with how you feel about what you're supposed to do. You know, if you look at this opportunity and you're thinking, oh, my goodness, i got to get out there and i got to spread the word, you know, i got to make sure I tell as many people as I can because I know so many people are hurting financially, I know so many people are hurting in their health, and this could be that opportunity that could really change their life, you're going to feel really good about going out there and talking about this opportunity and talking about these products every single day. And that's really what the calls are for. And I was saying, I'm not sure how much you guys heard, but, you know, these calls are not to stroke anybody's ego. It really is for everyone to get excited and to get motivated. That's what I'm saying. Even if you listen to the Spanish calls, you have no idea what they're saying. You know, <laughs> those calls are excited. Exciting. They are excited. Yes, you can do it. And that's supposed to get you to go out there and take you from faith to action. And so that's what the, to me, that's what the importance of the calls are, to really just get that motivation every single day to help you to go out there and grow your business. Number six was attend your local Super Saturday training. So, you know, um, make sure that you go to the winwith10.com slash calendar so that you can see all the different events that we're having. And I give you guys a little bit of training on Mondays, you know, maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes, depending on how long winded I get. But really, these are the events where you're going to get to go out there and hear from the leaders who are making a lot of income and hear all of their success stories and hearing step-by-step step what they did to make it happen. So that's really where you get that type of it. It's more of an intimate crowd. It's usually people who are already in the business, and it's usually for, you know, three to four hours on a Saturday afternoon where you're just taking tons and tons of notes. That's really where you got to be at so you can hear where the people are having the success, what they're doing. And more importantly than that, than hearing it, is actually being able to network with people and ask specific questions. And that's the great thing about these Super Saturday events and, which is number seven, the national events, the regional and the national events, like our September 27th event. You know, really, you're going to go out there, you're going to hear some great trainings, you're going to hear some, you know, motivational stories, you're going to hear lots of great things. But the key is, is really being able to pull somebody aside and say, hey, Melissa, you got car qualified at three months. How did you do it? And she'll be happy to sit down and tell you step-by-step step exactly how she did it. And that's where the real learning occurs. It's really where you're able to network with people. So getting on these calls, you're going to be hearing one side, giving you the motivation. Going to your Super Saturdays, you're going to get training about things that you didn't know, things that are working out on the field. These national events are where you're going to hear a higher-level training as well, but you're also going to get an opportunity to really network with people in the business and find out what's working for people and so find out ways that you can grow your business. Business. So that's why it's so important to attend these events. They're all about motivation, but really, at the core of it, it's really about getting into that network and finding out who's having success, zeroing in on them, and helping them, get, letting them give you advice that's going to help you to grow your business. That's my personal takeaway. So, you know, take that for what it is, go to the events, but still make sure that you're really connecting with people when you're out there. Step number eight is you want to team up with a workout partner. You know, I, I was reading a Time article that said we are really motivated by peer pressure. You know, that's why uh, I'll give you a great story. It has nothing to do with this, but it was a great story. I was talking to one of my friends, and, you know, he wants to be in the music industry, and he, you know, wants to do this, that, and the other. Okay, he's been wanting to do this for as long as I've known him, so at least 15 years. And I said, you know what you should do? You should tell everybody about your journey. You know, you should go on Facebook and tell everybody about your journey, about what you're trying to do. He's like, oh, no, I can't do that because then, you know, people will be expecting me to do it. And what if I don't make it? And, no, I'll, I'll post it after I make it happen. And I'm like, but then you'll spend another 15 years not getting anything done. I said, you should post it now. I said, because then people will be holding you accountable. And he's like, no, no, no. And it's right then that I knew that, like I said, he's been working on it for 15 years. I love him, but okay, it is what it is. But we are really motivated by that peer pressure is what, what I was trying to get at, is that when you, know, when you go out there and you say, I'm going to become car qualified in 
two months and you put that on Facebook and you tell all your friends, all of a sudden there's a different surge of energy that's coming out on here because now you know people are expecting in two months that you're going to be car qualified. And so putting that peer, added peer pressure, which is the purpose of a workout partner, is having someone else with holding you accountable. Because it's really easy for us to set a goal for ourselves, not meet that goal, and become accustomed to not meeting that goal. That's a really key thing, too, because I noticed that in my own life. I have to keep a spreadsheet of all the things that I want to accomplish and how well I did, because if I don't hold myself accountable, it's very easy to get into a habit of not reaching your goals. And then all of a sudden, they don't become as important to you. You're like, oh, you know, I'm going to work out five days a week. Okay, every single week, you're only working out two. You know, you're never quite making that goal of five. But after a while, this doesn't really matter anymore. But you have a workout partner and say, we're going to work out five days a week. Great. And I'm going to call you and make sure you did it. Now you're thinking at the end of the day, oh, my goodness, I need to go and do my exercise because this girl or this man is going to call me and I don't want to, you know, be the one who said I didn't do it this morning. And they're going to be thinking the same thing. So that's why it's important a workout partner. So you have someone that helps you to stay on track for your goals. That's the most important thing. Step number nine, I'm not going to get too in detail because you guys know how I get about this. It's personal development. You know, I, I just can't emphasize it enough because it really is the secret ingredient. You know, everybody wants to know what is the key to success? What is the key to success? What makes it, why are some people successful and some people aren't successful? It's personal development. Let me tell you something that I heard from Will Smith that it, oh my goodness, it just absolutely floored me. He said, you know, he's not the most talented guy in the world. He wouldn't say that he was the best singer or the best actor out there. He said, but the one thing and the one area that I excel in that nobody else can beat me in is my work ethic. He's like, there is no way that you will outwork me. He said, I'll put it to you like this. If you and I got on the treadmill, there's only two things that can happen. Either you're going to get off or I'm going to die. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's pretty serious. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, it's just that simple. Either you're going to get off or I'm going to die. And that's really what personal development is, is because he believes that at the end of the day, I'm going to work harder than anybody. And that's why he's Grammy Award winning, Oscar nominated, you know, whatever, whatever, Will Smith, is because he is willing to work harder than anybody else. But you only get that when you work on your personal development. So I'm just going to leave you with that story because I thought that was really, really profound. And then the section, this is the last one, is stay committed. You know, wealth isn't built overnight. There are some people who come into this industry, and in four months, they are making it, and they are making it good at living. And then there are some people who come in a hard time really getting over that learning curve and getting into the earning curve. But whatever it is, give yourself some time. Give yourself a break. You know, if you've never been in this industry before, then maybe it didn't start off as gangbusters for you. Or maybe you started off gangbusters and it started to slow down. Or maybe you're just ramping it up every single week. Whatever it is, stay committed. You know, if you jump from marketing to network marketing company to network marketing company, I'm not judging you. Everybody out here has probably been in more than one network marketing company. But you know what? Stay committed. At least give this an opportunity because let me tell you something about this one. This is a little bit different from every other art opportunity that's out there because you're with an established almost 12-year-old company that's launching a new product that is literally changing people's lives because of the high absorption in the sprays. And not everybody knows about it yet, but they will know about it. So give yourself time and make a commitment to 10 because 10 is making a commitment to you. So, you know, I will repost the welcome package because this is all in there. But those are just some of the things that after we talked yesterday, it's just some of the nitty-gritty to just make sure that we're doing those steps. And if you're really sitting there and you're like, you know what, I hear you every day, Nikisha, and, and I just, I'm still not. It's still not happening for me. I'm telling you, get plugged in to a good personal development table, work on yourself, get a workout partner, plan some goals for yourself, hold yourself accountable, and you'll start to see changes in your life. Sometimes you got to push yourself into that uncomfortable space before you start to see any change happen in your life. So I hope this has blessed somebody today. I always love doing the 10 steps of success training because I think it's just, it's one of those things that never goes out of style, right? Like a good Chanel suit. All right, back to you, Pastor Dale. Wow, wow. Great, great reminder about those steps, those 10 steps. Uh, you know, again, you know, there's a lot of new people in our business and a lot of uh, uh, even the, some of the people that are in the business uh, have not really comprehended and, and explored those steps. And so it's always good to have some refresher courses. You know, faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. So you got to keep on hearing and hearing. Uh, so great job. Thank you again, Coach Nikisha Bond. Are you always as organized? 
Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because um, <laughs> um, I, I have what I call like a little bit of OCD tendencies, and so <laughs> I always like to have my notes and, and organization, and I have a very good way of compartmentalizing things. So, yes, yes, I am. Thank you for that, Pastor Dale. Well, good. All right. I, I, hey, I'm glad. You, you, you know, you're, 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 you're for forcing me to get better organized. Because <laughs> uh, I tell you, you seem to be so organized all the time on these calls. So thank you again for your great training. As always, wonderful, wonderful Monday. Uh, we're going to go out to, um, I think, Atlanta. I think he was able to get back on the call. I'm not sure. But uh, one That's star Kevin Vaughn, uh, did you make it back? I sure did, Pastor One Star. Dr. Wafer, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful, man. I'm doing wonderful. I am looking forward to uh, September 6th in in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm coming, man. I'm coming with both girls. I'm ready to go, man. Yes, sir. We got the governor on alert, on high alert. The state of Georgia is ready for you, man. Ready for you. And, Nakisha, I tell you, you do an awesome job every time. Thank you so much for all you do. Even when the call drops, she's right there. She just picks it right up where she left off. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, that's called organization, ladies and gentlemen. And she's always ready to keep sharing, sharing, and sharing. So, Nikisha, great, great training. Thank you so much. That's what we need. Uh, as you know, uh, Pastor Dale, coaches push you to the next level, man. Coaches, without the coaches push you, man. They push you to championships. They push you to, you know, winning the team, winning the game, you know, and uh, being the best player you can be. So, thank you so much, Nikisha. You are definitely pushing all of us to greatness to uh, take advantage of this wonderful business we call 10. You know, Pastor, I know we got some wonderful uh, people on the line. I wanted to share some quick updates with everybody. First of all, our wonderful website, ladies and gentlemen, our, our corporate website is teameffortnetwork.biz. For all the new folks out there, make sure you uh, get familiar with this wonderful website for your business and for your team. Also, to win with 10. That's win, W-I-N, with 10, T-E-N, dot com. That's our uh, overview of the business. It's the one we all use to peak interest. Uh, in our wonderful 10 com- company. And the other one for those all around the country as well, winwith10.com forward slash calendar. Just want to share those with you guys because those are the three major um, websites that we use to build our wonderful network and, of course, introduce uh, people to our wonderful plan and uh, sprays as well on top of that. Yeah, Pastor Dale mentioned it earlier, ladies and gentlemen, for those around the country that have people in the metro Atlanta area Guys, you want to get people to this TTP where Pastor Dale is going to be on September the 6th, 2014 in Morrow, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, you can give me a call for more details. But it is posted on the winwith10.com calendar, so you can get the details there. It's winwith10.com calendar and look up September the 6th. We're going to be there from 10 till 2. And with Pastor Dale, we're going to close it out and have a great time um, for all those who are in attendance. So I want to encourage everybody, Pastor Dale, to get the folks there that are looking at the business, have sprays in their, in their home, using the sprays, looking at the possibility of being a part of the business, whatever. Get them to the CTP, ladies and gentlemen, with Pastor Dale. It's going to help close them out for you and, get, and move your business forward. So September the 6th at 10 a.m. Uh, in Marl, Georgia. And you give me a call at 404 4102334404102334. As you know, Nikisha and Pastor, we also got a wonderful bus. Putting together a bus from Atlanta going up to North Carolina all the way up to the Gaylord. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll leave it on the 26th of uh, September. We'll be there, of course, for a couple days, and then we'll be coming back on the 28th. Round trip, Pastor and Nikisha only, only, ladies and gentlemen, $150 round trip. We'll pick you up from your car, take you to the Gaylord, and bring you back to your car. Ain't that wonderful? So I think that's a pretty good deal right there. $150 round trip. And uh, for more details, give me a call as well. we got things rolling. And people are signing up. We want you guys to secure your seat to the, to the Gaylord, ladies and gentlemen, for this awesome event, our East Coast King University training and event. It's going to be powerful. Most of all, you guys got to meet Mel and Amy. you got to meet Mel and Amy. you got to meet Pastor Dale. you got to meet Nikisha. you got to meet, meet Pastor Meet All the top leaders are on this call. We just can't wait for you to hug their neck, shake their hand, and ask questions, and just meet these wonderful people in our business. So coming up, guys, we've got our bus. We got September the 6th, we got the 26th, all happening. Uh, give me a call, 404 4102334 4104 
Oh, two, three, three. Thank you so much for that. Hey, Pastor Nikisha, y'all ready for some powerful quotes for today? Hopefully this goes along with your training today. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Let me give you some quotes, guys. Hey, guess what? The, for the week, good planning to win. That's the, that's the theme this week. Good planning to win and a little encouragement, okay, for you as well. Hey, the first quote of this day, ladies and gentlemen, is from Alan Lakin. He says, planning is bringing the future into the present so that you can do something about it now. Oh, come on, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? Our sprays are making a difference all across the globe. And ladies and gentlemen, you can help do something about it right now. So we want you to share. As Mel and Amy say, share, 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 invite, invite, invite. TTPs can be at your home, at a hotel. It can be out, out in the park a lot, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter. It could be at your church fellowship hall like we do in Atlanta, Georgia. Wherever you can have a TTP, ladies and gentlemen, share this wonderful one of opportunities. Now, our next quote of the day comes from Taylor Munson. He says, you can spend your whole life planning, but once you're ready, get out there and start doing it. Oh, I know Pastor Dell likes that one. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, get to work today. Do not play with this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. We have a tremendous gift, a tremendous business model, and a tremendous opportunity to help change the world on a global basis. And the last one is from Zig Ziglar, ladies and gentlemen, the last quote of the day. We hope you're excited and fired up about your life and where you're at today, ladies and gentlemen, you can make positive deposits in your own economy every day by reading, listening, this is what Nikisha was talking about, by every day by reading and listening to powerful, positive, life-changing content. This comes from Pastor Dale, Pastor Denise, and all the leaders on the call throughout the weeks, and by associating and encouraging and hope-building people. Now, wonderful, that's what we all do as a team, ladies and gentlemen. We are all encouraging each other. Hope building people. We do it through our wonderful business model that Mel and Amy has put out for us. We're just so excited. So, ladies and gentlemen, stay excited. Plan well. You're going to win and stay encouraged. Babe. Back to you, Pastor Dale. Thank you, One Star. Uh, don't forget also, guys, to go into the uh, go to uh, uh, get your room blocks for the Gaylord Hotel on the uh, for the uh, 27th, September 27th, uh, the 10 Regional. Uh, you can call the Gaylord at 877-382-7299. That's 877-382-7299. And the block room, uh, the blue, the room block name is 10, T-E-N hyphen, Team Effort. That's 10, T-E-N hyphen, Team Effort. Reserve your room today. Uh, the rooms are going to be released uh, here, here soon, I think in the next week or so. Uh, so you definitely want to get your bookings in there. It's going to be a great location. Uh, if you've never been to the National Harbor here, it's a beautiful, beautiful yeah, location. Beautiful. You uh, right here, there, and uh, you have an opportunity. I'm telling you, it's awesome. Yeah. Is it, KV? It's beautiful, man. It is beautiful. So you walk in this place, and you know you're in, in the area of wealth. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Well, I'll tell you, we we had uh when we had mail come here and and and, and uh when he came here for uh, for yes, team sir. effort uh yes. and man he was taking pictures he was like oh let me take a picture of this let me take a picture of this yeah. let me send this to Amy Amy Amy's gonna love this you know exactly. I'm like I know Mel I know Mel been in some of the best hotels around yeah. the world yeah you know? but right. he was That's really right. really taken taken back by the Gaylord so it is a beautiful beautiful place. Uh, got great okay. views. It uh, has a lot of restaurants uh, in the site. Yeah, a lot yeah. of new things happening there. So we're going to have a number of activities going on. Not only the uh, the Saturday event, but we're uh, hooking up a networking event for Friday night for those who are getting in yeah. early. And we may even possibly get something doing uh, tied in where we can do on Saturday night for those who are staying over till Sunday. So yeah. uh, we're looking forward to spending some time with you guys and connecting with you and networking, having some fun, getting to know one another uh, uh, even better. So, yes, you can do the uh, uh, Gaylor Hotel 10 hyphen team effort. Book your room today uh, because those rooms are going fast. Thank you, guys. Welcome to your future. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to leave you with the call. Uh, we're going to leave you with the call. Be back on the call tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. We're going to have some exciting guests tomorrow as well as yes. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So uh, all our love to everybody. Bye for now.